everyone welcome back to my channel thanks again for popping by i am sorry about this but i thought i would do a daily makeup routine for you um i am heading off out in about 20 minutes or so so i don't actually have a lot of time all the kids are downstairs with their dad so i thought i would just crack on and show you i am sorry to all the makeup artists that i know out there and people who are just into beauty and makeup because i am not <laughs> and i have absolutely no idea how to apply makeup but I thought I would just show you what I do because as you know I don't have a lot of time to get ready in the mornings so yeah this is what I do this is my benefit foundation brush that I have not washed in about a million years and all I use for my prep I have um, used just my simple cleanser toner and moisturizer to begin with just to clean my face and then I use a Garnier BB cream. I use a light and a medium because, well, I think I'm sort of, I'm not quite the light, but I'm not quite as dark as the medium. So I just mix a bit of those two together and splosh it on the face. And again, I am no makeup artist, so um, I apologize if whatever I'm doing is wrong or yeah, not the correct way, but it works for me. And I don't even know really if this is a good color for me because I don't have time to go to the shops and get a color match and all that sort of stuff. Actually, I very rarely go to the shops. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I brought a decent foundation. I think the last decent foundation I brought that I use for sort of, um, nice wear only is what i wore on my wedding day my gorgeous friend yassi did my makeup and she told me what foundation she used so i thought i'd go and splash out on that and i've run out and i just haven't had the chance to get any more so yeah which is annoying but i will do because i've got a couple of weddings coming up this year so i think if i get a nice foundation then that'll be good so I basically just <laughs> brush it in all over my face and under here, that's really not a good angle, I apologise. And I do know that I probably look about 12 years old with this hair. So that is that, I think. I still look really pale, but actually when I look in the mirror, it doesn't look so bad. So that is my base. And then I just use my Benefit uh, Dallas, this tiny little brush here, which I have no idea what it is. It's so old that it's all scratched out. So I'm not even gonna show you what's inside here. Actually, I will because it's quite funny. Can you see that? It's all broken. That is what I'm using. So this is no fancy makeup video. This is just real life, mum three my makeup routine this is what i do so i just sort of awkwardly smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks like so and then for my eyebrows i use um highbrow this is really really old as well um i really should probably do a massive makeup shop but i just don't have time at the minute so I just kind of make it up and draw my own eyebrows in. They're quite thick anyway, so I just kind of go over the outline just to make it a bit more defined. And again, the shape is probably terrible because again, the last time I had them done was when I got married and that was almost two years ago so I've just kind of been plucking them myself which is never really really that good but never mind so this is what I do to get my eyebrows looking a bit a bit better <laughs> I mean they're still not 100% great and they're probably completely different shapes but I think it definitely frames your face thing I 
I do for my eyes is I've been using um, Clarins mascara. Usually I just use, um, this is the Supra volume. Yeah, I got this in like a gift set, so I don't actually usually buy expensive makeup, really. I know I've used the Dallas, the Benefit, but they've all been gifts to me. I never really go out and buy it. The only one that I did go out and buy that was expensive was my Estee Lauder uh, foundation, which I did actually really, really love. It's quite thick. I'm not usually a massive makeup wearer, and I do find the Estee Lauder quite thick, but I wore it on my wedding day and it obviously lasted throughout the whole day, so it's definitely good if you're going for a day out. Um, like a wedding or, or an event somewhere um, and usually mascara I don't actually use too much I used to get the Miss Sporty um, from Superdrug it was like 249 or something like that but I did get this in the gift set and I do actually really like it but again it's really old and clumpy and it's dried up a little bit but um, we're just going to use it because that's all I have at the minute don't you just hate it when that happens <sighs> every single time I just kind of leave it to the end because I know if I wipe it I'll do it again and then it's pointless so I just tend to get a cotton bud I go a bit crazy putting the mascara on and then I'll get a cotton bud and just wipe it off at the end really really random now and I don't know if anybody else does it or if it is just me but I tend to before my lashes dry get a hair dryer on them just so they curl up a little bit so excuse me <sighs> and then what have we got next I use a little lip liner this is a max factor mauve oh it's all gone mauve moments i think it was called so i tend to just line and then i tend to fill them in a little bit with the same color because um I never buy the matching lipstick, which is really annoying. So yeah, line them and then color them in. I tend to not go into the middle because I have a lovely little lipstick that I use. And this is a MAC lipstick. There's me saying I don't buy expensive stuff, but... And this is called Myth. Yeah, and it's a really, really light one, so I tend to just go in the middle and just sort of blend it in because I really quite like how it looks. I'm not really sure how well you can see this because I'm trying to look in the mirror and film at the same time, so my setup isn't really that great at the minute. Cotton bad to get the mascara off that I... I've got loads on my eyelid. It always tends to happen and I don't know why, it's probably me just applying it all wrong. But... I did also put my contact lenses in before I started, otherwise I would not be able to see a thing. So this is my finished look. I don't do any highlighter or anything like that because, well, I know it would probably make me look a million times better if I did, but yeah, I just don't generally tend to use it on a day-to-day -day thing. I just kind of, um, yeah, do it as I'm going to an event or something if I've got a nice day out. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it.